Welcome to this short series on what's new in Moodle LTI uh, for Freeten. So we've been lucky with uh, Freeten. There's quite a few nice improvements to the LTI sub module. So we're going to go from the smallest, I think, to the biggest one. So in this first section, we're going to cover the uh, context history. So the context study history can be very useful to better handle course copy scenario for your LTI tool. So just here as a bit of an example of an illustration, let's say that you have your LTI link inside the Moodle course and the user clicks on it and actually clicks on your link here and goes to your link and you're given the context ID, which is really the course ID, which is like, let's say, 17. And now your user in this in your tool would like to apply some customization. Say, oh, I want like it to, my background to be blue, let's say, so blue background, okay. So now the so user comes around, time passes as a new term or whatever, and they make a new copy of that course inside the same site in Moodle. So now you have a copy in Moodle here. So the links have been copied, same parameters, same everything. And now they're going to click on that link again in Moodle. So they click on that link. Whoop. Now it's a new context ID. So it's going to be 20. Okay, but now the background blue is completely gone. The customization has been has not been copied over because there is no relationship between uh, those two contexts. And that's why there is a context ID history now that's going to give you the fact that 20, you will know that um, 20 is actually a copy of 17. And therefore you will be able to copy the, the customization also on your site. So that's really what context ID history is about, to tell, to let you know of a context, of which context this context is a copy from. And if there is a chain of copies, you will have multiple ancestors from the most recent to the oldest one uh, separated by a comma. So if 17 was itself a copy of, let's say, 9, then you will say the history would have, say, 17, 9. So actually, let's see it in action in Moodle proper. So in Moodle, uh, here we have a tool that I've set up, and I've, I've set up my tool to ask for the custom parameter context ID history. And the va that's the key. And the value is actually this dollar context ID history. And if you have not seen those before, those dollar means that they will be replaced at runtime by the actual value. So am I saying, whenever, whenever you launch this tool, pass me the context ID history of the current context. And so now if I go and log as an instructor, and I go to the original course, and I click on my LTI link, that's a little test app here, and you say that the context ID history is blank. But that's fine. Blank means no new value. So uh, that means this is not a copy of anything. So that's fine. It's, it's OK. That's my original course. And now if I go to another course, which is a copy of that course, and we click on it, and now we click on the same uh, link, and we will see now that the context ID history has been replaced by the value 13. So this is telling me now, Moodle is telling me now that this context is a copy of the context ID 13. And if I've made a copy of the copy, and again, I launch this tool. So now the context ID here is 16. I click on it, and it's telling me so this is a copy of 15, which was itself a copy of 13. So you have the whole the history of, of your context, and this will allow you to copy any customization um, information that you may have had on those prior courses. So one thing, um, this feature will only work for full course copies. So it's really when you restore a copy, uh, when you restore a backup into a new course, and it will only work when you restore on the same site. So if you move from one site to another, Obviously, the height, the history, the context IDs don't really make sense between sites. So that would not work. But it's really within the same site. You copy a course, you restore it into a new course, you will know the ID of the previous context, and so on. 